वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग रेडियो सेंट्रल न्यूज एंड चांदनी एंड नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल The Center on Monday issued a nationwide advisory ahead of Bharat Bandh on December 8 called by Farmers Union and supported by opposition parties against the demand to repeal the three farm laws. The Bharat Bandh call has been given by the farmers union who have been protesting for the past 12 days at the various entry points on Delhi borders against the three farm laws enacted in the monsoon session of parliament. In its advisory the Union Home Ministry has asked all the states and union territories to tighten security during the Bharat Bandh and directed them to maintain peace and tranquility on Tuesday. The states administration have also been asked to deploy additional security forces at sensitive areas and places such as bus terminals, railway stations and airports and also to maintain COVID-19 guidelines of health and social distancing the Home Ministry official said. The states and UTs were told that peace and tranquility must be maintained during the Bharat Bandh and precautionary measures be taken so that no untoward incident take place anywhere in the country they added In its advisory the ministry also said that the respective government must ensure that covid-19 guidelines issued with regard to health and physical distancing were strictly followed A number of opposition parties including Congress Aam Aadmi Party Four Left Party Telangana Rashtra Samiti Nationalist Congress Party Samajwadi Party Dravida Munetra Kazagam have extended their support to the Bharat Bandh India's coronavirus infection rose to 96.77 lakh while the active case load fell below 4 lakh and the recovery surged to 91.39 lakh according to the Union Health Ministry data updated on Monday. The total coronavirus cases mounted to 96,77,203 with 32,981 new infections being reported in a day while the death toll rose to 1,40,573 with 391 new fatalities the data updated at 8 a.m. showed. There are 396,729 active coronavirus infection in the country which comprises 4.10% of the total case load. The number of people who have recuperated from the disease surged to 91,39,901, pushing the national recovery rate to 94.45%, while the COVID-19 case fatality rate stands at 1.45%. India's COVID-19 tally had crossed the 20 lakh mark on August 7, 30 lakh on August 23 and 40 lakh on September 5. It went past 50 lakh on September 16, 60 lakh on September 28, 70 lakh on October 11, crossed 80 lakh on October 29 and surpassed 90 lakh on November 20. According to the ICMR, 14 crore 77 lakh 87,656 samples have been tested up to December 6, with 8 lakh 1,081 samples being tested on Sunday. Vaccine Manufacturing Major Serum Institute of India on Monday said it has applied to Drugs Controller Journal of India for emergency use authorization for its COVID-19 vaccine COVID Shield. The Pune-based company has collaborated with Oxford University and pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca for making the vaccine and is conducting trials in India. As promised before the end of 2020, Adwe Serum Institute India has applied for emergency use authorization for the first made in India vaccine Covishield, SII CEO Adar Punewala said in the tweet. He further said this will save countless life and I thank the government of India and Shri at the rate Narendra Modi ji for their invaluable support. Last week P Pfizer India said it has applied to India's drug regulator DCGI for emergency use authorization for its COVID-19 vaccine after the company's parent received clearance for the treatment from Britain and Bahrain. The Supreme Court on Monday refused to squash FIRs lodged in different states against TV new anchor Amish Devgan for his alleged defamatory remark against Sufi saint Khwaja Muhyiddin Chisti during a show in June 15. The top court however said Devgan will get protection from any coercive action if he continues to cooperate with the probe. A bench of justices AM Khan Vilkar and Sanjeev Khanna also transferred all FIRs lodged in different states including Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and Telangana against Devgan to Ajmer in Rajasthan.
Earlier, the top court had granted protection to Devgan from any course of action in connection with the FIRs. After that, the Apex Court has been extended the protection from any course of action to the journalist. Shares of oil and natural gas corporation gained nearly 5% in early trade on Monday after ONGC Videsh Limited made a significant oil discovery in an onshore block in Colombia. The stock jumped 4.61% to rupees 94 on both BSEA and NSC. ONGC Videsh Limited, the overseas investment arm of state-owned ONGC, has made a significant oil discovery in an onshore block in Colombia, a company statement said on Friday. OVL struck oil while drilling an appraisal well Indico 2 in CPO 5 block in Lilano's Basin of Colombia, it added. OVL is the operator in the block with 70% stake, Geopark Limited, an independent oil and gas company focused in Latin America, has the remaining 30% interest. That is all for the today's news bulletin. Stay tuned to Radio Central News for more updates.